confront the very first time that Vet got face to face with the giant cow. He had wanted to find out how it could possibly grow to this size. And while Farmer Tom, the owner of the enormous animal, was making it very difficult, the vet did manage to do a couple tests on the cow that would reveal the shocking truth being its size. The vet did not hesitate to immediately call the police to arrest Farmer Tom. It was obvious that the owner of the giant cow, Farmer Tom, had not happy with the vet doing tests on his special livestock. But when the vet got the results of these tests back, he was going to make the farmer even angrier at him, because this was anything but good news. He immediately called Farmer Tom and ordered him to get the cow back inside of the barn and have it wait for him there. He was going to come over as quickly as he could. Tom was stunned by the demand but decided to follow it. When the vet arrived and told Farmer Tom what he had discovered, he went completely white. He could not believe that this vet had managed to expose his secret. But what had the vet discovered about the cow? How had it gotten so big and what had Farmer Tom been hiding from the world? For a while, the giant cow of Farmer's Tom had been one of the best kept secrets of rural Arkansas. With only other farmers around for long stretches of land, there were not many people that knew of the cow's existence, but this would not be for long. The other farmer had agreed not to tell anybody about the abnormally large farm creature as they were not interested in any unwanted attention, and neither was Tom. They just wanted a peaceful life, but with the cow, who was named Khan, only growing larger it seemed, they knew they could not hide her existence forever. The farmers had to admit that they were at least somewhat curious about how Kong had gotten so big. They had cows themselves as well, but nowhere near that size, and they six could see the benefits of being able to grow larger livestock, especially for meat production. But Farmer Tom always stayed mysterious about this. He just kept claiming that he had no idea how this happened. Kong was just a normal fowl at first, but just would not stop growing. But for all he could determine, the cow was perfectly healthy despite his giant size. And while most of the farmers took this answer, and just accepted it. The son of one of the older farmers, named Simon, could not get the cow out of his mind. He hated his life as a poor farmer, and in this cow, he saw the potential to get himself out of this life. If he could discover how it had gotten to this size, and if he was then able to replicate it with their own newborn cows, they could potentially make a lot more money with them. Maybe he could even sell his discovery for instant profit. But how was he going to find this out? His first plan of action was to sneak into Tom's farm in the hopes that he could find something that Tom had sued to get this cow so big. Maybe a special kind of food or some medical supplies or documentation. He just had to make sure that he would not be caught. Simon found the giant cow in the stable, but what stood out to him was that the cow was locking by itself, while most of the other cows were in a group together. He looked through and around the enclosure without waking Khan up, but found nothing out of the ordinary. He also tried to get into the house of Farmer Tom, but this was uncharacteristically locked up tight for a farm. People around here trusted each other normally enough to leave their doors open at night. Did Tom have something he wanted to hide from everybody around here? But it was obvious that Simon was not going to find something about Khan this easy. And so he had to come up with a new plan. But that was a plan he already had on the back burner and it involved a vet that he had befriended over the years. Simon was going to call this vet for one of his own cattle, but when he arrived, he would casually mention the giant cow he had seen parading the fields of Farmer Tom, and hopefully it would trigger him enough to go and check it out for himself. And when the vet found the cause of Kong's size, they could share the potential profit of this discovery together, hopefully making them both a lot of money. But would the secretive Farmer Tom even allow a vet he did not know to check his cow? Simon would end up calling the vet that very morning with an excuse that one of his cows had been unusually sluggish the past couple of days and he was getting worried. The vet was able to meet them the same afternoon, but he had no idea about the real reason he was asked to come. Simon first showed him the cow he had lied about who was, as expected, just fine. It did not seem sluggish whatsoever, but the vet still did a quick checkup determining that the animal was fine. He found it all a bit strange but was getting paid for showing up anyway. But then Simon started to seemingly make conversation with him. The vet raised an eyebrow as Simon mentioned something about a strangely large cow that another farmer in the area had. 
Sure, it was not strange for some cows to grow a bit larger than others, but apparently, this one was 2x the size at least. That could not be right. Simon's plan was working perfectly as the vet stopped him in his conversation to ask where he could find this cow. He had gotten very curious about the creature and wanted to go and check it out for himself. Simon made the vet promise that he would not tell anybody he got this from him and then gave the address from Farmer Tom. He was planning on calling the vet again after he saw him leave Tom's farm to discuss what he found out about the size of the cow. He could already see the dollar signs, but had to contain his excitement as much as possible. The vet could not know anything yet about his true intentions. Bursting with curiosity now, the vet quickly drove to Farmer Tom's home to ask if he could check out this supposedly giant cow. But he was not greeted with a particularly warm welcome. The moment Tom opened the door and saw he was dealing with a vet, his expression went sour. He could probably guess that the vet came for Kong as he had not called him or any vet for that matter for anything. And when the vet confirmed that he was coming for the giant cow, Tom first wanted to know who had told him about it. But of course, the vet could not say this. He hid behind the fact that he got an anonymous tip and that he could never reveal the name due to doctor-patient confidentiality. This was actually not something that really applied to veterinarians, but the vet just hoped that Farmer Tom did not know this. With a deep sigh, Tom let the farmer in and started to lead him to the stable where he kept Kong. He admitted it was true that he had a giant cow, but he kept saying that it was nothing special and that the animal was perfectly healthy. But Tom was definitely holding something back from the vet. 